Good evening everyone. So I want to talk about this. This has arisen over the last few few years in general and what I'm talking about general too. We all know this even in the county councils, it's all being privatized, it's all been put out to companies, it's not owned by the state. It's just been forked out to companies and you know, it's the same with the buses. Even bus air and the buses are even the school buses. There used to be hundreds more school buses when I was younger. I remember seeing them on the road. Uh, they were owned by bus air and were owned by the state and owned by the taxpayer. And nowadays it's all privatised buses. And the same here in Killinleck. The I even remember when I was at school with the bus from Killinleck going into Cavan Town uh, to Brefney College when I was at Brefney College and picking up students. I remember that. And I think the bus drive for a tired. Why did the bus, the bus uh, was not usable and they didn't want to replace the bus? Um, so, obviously, as we all know, and the same with many buses, uh, it's privatised. It's privatised now and people have to fork out to order out of their own pocket. People on low incomes and things like that. And it's outrageous prices in the Anglo South. And I just want to take the Anglo South for bringing this. I knew, I, I've heard about it before. I remember a few people talking about it at the beginning of the, year. At the beginning of the summer there. There was a few people saying, well, and then obviously now they're talking about it now. Um, a petition can uh, demand in public for secondary schools in Cavan Town. So this is the top of the secondary schools. Because Kinnelec is a good bit of a distance away from Cavan Town. Uh, and obviously Cavan Town is the main schools, Brefney College, you have College, if you have uh, Sipats for boys, if Loretto for girls, you have the Royal School too. Uh, so we are talking about four major schools in the Cabin Town area. And obviously the the clear, the, the nearest one in Killinleck would be St. Clare's and Bally Jim stuff, one of the Bally Jim stuff. Uh, which is still a few good bit of a kilometres, a few kilometres away from Bally, uh, from Killinleck. But get to the point. Uh, the parents in Killinleck, and again, at the end of the day, these people. Uh, parents and fathers are going out, like, like everyone here, uh, like myself. We're all going out and we're paying tax and we're walking. Uh, we're not sitting on our asses here doing nothing. You know, they're going out and walking for it. And that, that, that money that the government takes away in tax should be going towards get their kids to school. It's as simple as that. I don't know what's the, the trouble. I don't know why they're privatising buses. Uh, but we all know it's a lot more cheaper things than the state doesn't want to do it. Um, and in a few years' time, there'll be no such thing as bus Um We are privatised. Um, but yeah, it's a ridiculous. 1,300 for a year. Uh, and I think that's only for one student. For one child to go to school. Yeah, for one. So that's only for one. Think about that. Imagine if you have three children. You're paying out three or four thousand. Um, like who... Like if you work on a nine-to-five job, how could you afford that? I even think if you're working as a teacher or as a guard or something like that, you still would struggle. That's a lot of money. For two or three children, you're spending two thousand, giving it to bus Aaron. And actually, sorry, he's given it to a private company. Uh, now it's not, it's not fair. It is an extremely, it's not fair on the children, and it's not fair on the parents. Um, having to go out and walk hard to make ends meet to try and pay for things, and again, the government keep coming out and having that aim and wine bullshitting away and all there and saying you know the cost of living and things like that X Y and Z, and then you turn around and and, and then he, he says, oh, you know what, we're going to get rid of a majority of the bus Aaron buses. Uh, and we're going to flock it off to a private company. Uh, doesn't make much sense, let's be fair. Uh, and it isn't fair. It isn't fair on the children. It isn't fair on the parents. Half of that. Like, you think about that. That's a good chunk of money. If we're talking about two kids, maybe 2,000 euros. If we're talking about three kids, four years, we're talking about three to 4,000 euros. Uh, and that's a good bit of money. Like, even bus, one for one child, even when I was at school, uh, I think it was around 300 and something a year, which is still pretty hefty. But at the end of the day... It's reasonable enough, 300, so it's reasonable enough. But at the same time, that's, talk about a thousand, anything over 300 is not very reasonable, let's be fair. Um, but the way it should be, and obviously at the moment, I think the government are talking about uh, free bus tickets for a lot of children. Uh, I think these are on public buses, like bus errand buses, uh, owned by the Transport Authority, in other words, owned by the department, owned by the state. Uh, they're going to have free tickets for everybody, uh, for the majority of them kids. But I don't think it covers private buses, and I think that's the problem here. Uh, and I, and again, the person, even when I was at school, yeah, I didn't get a bus ticket, even though I paid for a bus ticket. Uh, even though there was place in the bus, there was a mix-up in bus area. And the most awkward whores to deal with, uh, they need to be told you, I was the most awkward people you could imagine in bus area. Uh, and the most ignorant people you could ever come across. And to be totally honest, I wouldn't blame the parents for uproaring. And to be totally honest, because you can never get anything done. By going to bus out because they wouldn't the, the most ignorant people you could come across, um. So, 
I, I do say, and I would, ple- I would appeal to the local councillors and the local TDs to do something very, very quickly, because as we know, the, the school year is nearly beginning, the beginning of September. Uh, a lot of secondary schools, particularly Brevity College, Zip Hats, they're all going back. Uh, and I would say to the TDs to either go up to Eamon Ryan and to tell them to go and do something in the name of God, to get up on his backside and get his waking up a bit and go and get a few bob for to get a public bus. Yeah, I'm sure the fuck bus everyone has a few buses they can put on the road somewhere in the culture and they can get a driver and they can bring these kids to school and get them an education. It's what the taxpayer pays them for. Um, and if Eamon Ryan, if it comes so that Eamon Ryan could take it out of his own back pocket and pay for every child in that bus, uh, maybe he might win a few folks and the Green Party might win a few folks in camp, but not like people now. Um... But yeah, it's the it's the principle again. It's the principle of this that you know these parents like again as, as some of them said in the article here. I put the article in the description. They have to drive all the way from Kinnelak, and again, it's a good few kilometers. It's not it's not very close to Camden. It's a good bit of distance away, um, and it's not fair. It isn't at the end of the day. The one people that are suffering the most is the children. It's not fair on the children, um, because again, some families just simply can't afford to pay that much. Uh, and some families, you know, can afford to pay, but it is still far too much at the same time. Let's be fair. Uh, and it's not fair with them children, because again, we always say an education for all, etc, etc, etc. But yeah, we let we abandon the few children, how about that? That's more or less what the government's saying. But I do appeal, and again, the person that's over it, it's not actually the Department of Transport. It's not Eamon Ryan, but Eamon Ryan has to say it, obviously. It's the Minister for Education, and it's pointless talking that fucking nuisance of a word. Um... Because she, I don't think she knows what a bus is, to be totally honest with you. Um, but yeah, um, like she's, she's useless. Uh, like she's absolute useless. Um, if useless was useless, to be useless. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 not, it's not on, let's be fair. It's not on. Um, and we have to, and I do, this is the main point, even though I was, wasn't going to talk about this particular instant. Uh, I was going to mention about... The privatisation of us. So this was really the main point of the video. Only for I briefly I seen this, uh, yesterday article, uh, and I heard people talking at the beginning, about the beginning of the summer about it. A few people from that area I see it up in the Facebook that were giving out about it, uh, and rightly so. I don't I don't blame them. It's rightly so. Uh, the the taxes are paying for it. So, what's what's going to be done about it? That's why I asked the TDs and councils. Something has to be done. I can't be just left, for the parents to fend for themselves and to do what they. Because that's insane. Let's be fair. If the state would cover a few, maybe a few bob of it, um, we could f- cover fifty or sixty percent of it. Maybe we might, it might do something. But I, the way I see it, bus Aaron should take over it. Simple as that, and and I think we should stand up and say, and to our local representatives, the local TDs, when we see buses being taken off the road, uh, public buses and not being privatized, we should say to our local TDs, our local councillors, this is not acceptable. Particularly in rural Ireland, again, it's, it's different in the cities. You can hop on a train, you can hop on a tram, you can fucking fly around the roads. Uh, but in rural Ireland, that's a different story. You know, your back country roads for miles and miles on end. It's not feasible, let's be fair. We have to talk sense. We can't be in our own heads, Eamon and mine, but, um, but you know, it's not feasible. And we have to just say that straight to them because, again, some of these TDs and senators and things that they don't understand. The prospect of only people. They're just up in the doll and they don't know what they're doing. Uh, and they don't understand about the only Joe on the street that's walking the pay for them. But you look at And the same with the people in Bus Aaron. I don't think they have a clue about one in the bus service. But anyway, they're more worried about upsetting people and annoying people. That's the main thing. But yeah, that's what I say. Thank you.